Hello, my name is Marcus and uh, this is a tutorial about bringing in uh, custom map objects uh, into Dune 3 using Maya. One of the tool tools you'll need is ActorX, okay? Uh, there's uh, loads of different versions of ActorX depending on what version of Maya you've got. Uh, my version is the full version of Maya 6, uh, so my ActorX tool is for the full version of my 6 but uh, and this is included in the uh, zip file but you may need to uh, go on the internet and just type in ActorX for Maya and uh, download the version you want there's loads of different versions there's the versions for the uh, learning edition uh, the PLE version which you can download off the website there's uh, you know in the different versions of that there's different versions for of Actor X for you know Maya 4 or 5 and you know, so on. So uh, download the version you've got, or if you've got Maya 6 full version, uh, uh, get that from the zip. And to install this, we're going to go into my computer, C drive, uh, alias, wherever you installed Maya, Maya 6, uh, bin, and we're going to go into plug it ins and just drop it in there. Mine's already in. Okay and that's ready to go uh, we just scale this down a little bit there we go okay to get this uh, plugin working uh, if we go to window settings and preference and plugin manager uh, these will be unchecked so just tick them and they'll load up uh, ready to go uh, so that's uh, your ActorX setup. Uh, this isn't a tutorial about <laughs> modelling in in Maya. Okay, uh, this is really for people who know how to model in Maya but uh, want to get map objects into Dune 3. Okay, so uh, don't expect any information about modelling, not yet anyway. So. One of the few problems I've had in the, uh, actually uh, messing around with this uh, is the texturing. I can't seem to have more than one texture on the model. Uh, to begin with, the wheels were the wheels were one model, uh, one texture. An actual van uh, was another. And when I was bringing it into Doom 3, I was getting all sorts of crazy uh, texture problems, and it was just like using one texture to texture the whole thing. It was uh, quite irritating. So if I bring up the uh, UV texture editor window and select it, you can see that I've, I've moved the, the wire across and fit in the wheels the best I can. Uh, so as long as you're using one texture object, uh, texture, uh, you'll be okay. Uh, so uh, with your model textured and ready to go, uh, how do we scale this to a zombie? Well. Uh, it would take a lot of playing around and bringing it into Doom and you know going back to Maya and scaling it and then taking it back into Doom and then bringing it out and scaling it and, you know, until you get it right. Uh, but if I import a file I made called Zombie Height, oh, there he is. Let me just stick a grey shade on it. Uh, Lambert. Okay, that is roughly the height of a zombie. Okay, roughly. You may still need to tweak your model in Dune 3, but uh, the <coughs> if you scale a cube, just create a cube and scale it uh, x by 17, scale the y by 73, and scale the z by 33. To be absolutely truthful, it could probably uh, be a little bit. Yeah, keep the numbers nice and round probably be a little bit thicker and uh, that's roughly the uh, the height of a zombie just make sure that he's uh, uh, sat on this origin but on the on the uh, bar so he's nice and scale there we go okay so if we just scale our model uh, to that uh, then we know it's roughly going to be the same height <coughs> so that's cool uh, 
when you load a new model into Doom 3 you'll notice there's a red dot which is its origin point which snaps to the Doom 3 grid well the origin point in the application is right in the center of the uh, the grid so as long as you make sure that your model is fairly central uh, and is also uh, sitting fairly well on this black line and I know these the, the other wheels are kind of sitting over but these wheels aren't so I'll just make sure it's lined up to those and that should snap really nicely to the, uh, the actual Doom 3 uh, grid uh, <coughs> and uh, great now we can uh, export this out uh, if I go to window settings and preference plugin manager and in the ActorX tool if I hit this little I for the information close that down you'll see these uh, commands that we can type into the console to bring up the various options that uh, ActorX has the one we're after is Axe Mesh which is that one so if I close that down and go into this little console and type in Axe Mesh and hit enter uh, actually before I do that we will, let's make a shortcut on our shelf here and just get rid of that uh, the shortcut on this shelf okay so to do this I'm going to hit this little window down here which is our script editor let's keep that down there now if I type in axe mesh uh, I'll get the exporter window if I close that down you'll notice that it, it's actually added a few extra things to our, our script editor as it's uh, been loading the exporter and stuff what we need is just that line axe mesh semicolon so if we just select that middle mouse button and drag to this shelf uh, we've created a, a, a quick sort of shortcut button for that one script so if I select our van and hit uh, that button uh, we'll get our static mesh exporter <coughs> what I'm going to check is uh, auto triangulate and consoli consolidate uh, output geometry uh, so I'm going to press the set default output path and I'm going to change it to my desktop uh, export and I'm going to call this van1 ok uh, close that down and hopefully there it is there's our ASC file uh, which Demon 3 likes uh, there's our the texture that we're using and what I've created here is just a quick uh, MTR file for our texture I'll just load this up you should know how to create an MTR file but I'm not using a specular map or a normal map I'm just uh, uh, just using a stand the standard diffuse texture okay which is that uh, so we need to create some folders now that Doom 3 likes new folder I'm going to call this models inside there uh, best uh, damn mod ok now the only reason why we've created a, a folder uh, w the same name as our mod name is because it will keep all our models separate from the actual Doom 3 models and easier to find so if we just drag that in there uh, we'll create a new folder called uh, materials stick that in there and then we need to create a new folder called uh, textures Oops. textures and inside there uh, best uh, um, mod and I'm just going to whack that in there so there's our three files that we need to get our model working select them all, add to archive zip best compression and I'm just going to call this pack uh, 876.pk4 as long as it's not the same as the uh, as the numbers that they're actually in the base folder you'll be ok uh, but you'll probably know that uh, hit ok and there it is, there's our pk4 file I'm just going to delete these right, let's stick that file into our mod folder so it's in uh, program files, Dean 3, best damn mod on the net. I'm just going to yes that. So there it is. Now at the moment our model is still thinking that the texture is on the desktop. So we need to make a few changes before we can get this working in Dean 3. 
uh, what I'm going to load up is my NTR file and I'm going to load up uh, model, specify mod, and if we just open up van1.asc in notepad now uh, if you're moving from 3D Studio Max to Maya you'll notice that the ASC is slightly different uh, to the ones that Maya uh, that uh, 3D Studio creates. Now the only reason why I've, I've moved on to Maya is because the results I was getting in uh, Max were really really bad and uh, I just couldn't get my head around it. The models were looking really bad. It was The, the shadowing was being drawn quite terribly on, uh, on the models I was creating and uh, I'm, I'm getting a much nicer result uh, using my uh, and uh, that's the only reason why I actually tried to figure, it, figure out using Maya in the first place because 3D Studio Max was doing my editing doing my editing so all I'm going to do is copy that before I carry on rambling on and I'm just going to replace that line with that I'm going to change these slices the other way and then I'm going to put two more backslashes and base and then backslash you just think of base as the PK4 file so it's the PK4 file textures best down mod and van skin which is uh, which is where our van texture is close that down let's save yes so that's it that's ready to go let's just load it up into Dean 3 and uh, <coughs> see what it looks like in the uh, in the map. Best that mod. So, uh, editor. Yeah, so sorry if you actually don't know how to use my but uh, there's plenty of tutorials out there and I do plan on making a few modeling tutorials some some in some decade. Uh, so what I'm going to do is let's just uh, zoom not too far up. Make a big box. Okay. Uh, that will do. Hollow it out. Oh, would you believe it's too bloody small? Right out of there. Right, let's stick in our uh, model. So, new model. base, models, and there it is, best damn mod, so all our models are going to be in there, there it is, texture's working, everything's fine, let's just uh, spin this around, pop it down, stick some lights in, right, oops, I'm always doing that, Uh, there we go, so there's our our nice looking van, looking really cool. Let's just stick a zombie down and uh, we have a look at the uh, zombie size. Should be okay, looking okay from here. Let's make sure he's uh, facing the... Uh, Okay, don't change direction. <laughs> but yeah, that's a nice size. Looks okay. Well, again, that's not using any normal map or specular map. Uh, you may run into one or two uh, problems if you use normal mapping. Uh, <coughs> uh, you, your results, unless the normal maps are really, really good, uh, you you could lose some quality uh, in your model. Uh, you can definitely use some specular maps on the windows and stuff. That'd look really cool. But uh, yeah, uh, so uh, hope that helps. Uh, 
get modeling, get mapping. Hope to see some of your stuff. Catch you later.